Welcome back to the country, my friends. So I got some new bullets uh, that I want to talk to you about. I bought some RDF 7 millimeter uh, reduced, reduced drag function bullets. They are long and slender and they got a BC of 719. So up until this point I have been shooting 168 grain Sierra Match Kings in my 7 mag, the one we built uh, but a few years ago and I love that bullet but the BC on it's down in like the 500s and I've been looking for a high BC bullet so this was these are these were cheap I bought these uh, from Midway they had them on sale for I think it was $90 uh, 500 so I bought 500 of them just to give them a shot so what I had was I had been trying these so I've got some load data with these. These are the Sierra Match King 183s. Now, if I know anything about Sierra, it's usually you can use their bullets as check weights. So this is what they look like side by side. Okay, you've got your Sierra Match King on the left and you got your on your right. And that is the RDF nozzle. Okay, so you can all the only way I can tell the difference is the tip. Let's see if we can get it to focus. See the tip has like almost a little pencil sharpener look on them. That's on the 168 or the 183. Okay. So I wanted to get a load with these because they're cheap. And see if I can get them to, to fire. But some of the questions I had, I tried to look on YouTube and see if I could come up with any kind of a uh, somebody that had shot these before before I bought them and tried to look and the seven millimeter just hasn't been out people haven't really shot it that much um, so what I'm gonna do is I've got a bullet comparator okay and we're gonna see how consistent the ojive is on them we're also gonna check the weight on them check and see how that looks so, starting out, we're just going to pull them at random. Ojive on that one is 844. Okay, we're just going to set them in this little tray right here as we go. Let's pull another one. Eight four five. Eight four three. Eight four five. One more, and that'll be a five comparison. We'll go with that. Eight four five. Pretty consistent. Okay, let's go the overall length of the bullet. And just kind of stick it in the comparator here. 153. 53.7. Three point four, fifty three point four, fifty three point seven. So they're a little, little off either way. Okay, so that's not terrible, I guess. They're within a point thou, you know. Let's check the weight. One eighty four point nine, one eighty five point three, one 
185.3 so four of the five that we pulled out at random are consistent so we're gonna give them a shot and uh, so what I did was I took these to the range I loaded one round of each powder charge working its way up I've got a Nosler book but my Nosler book doesn't list this bullet because it's so new so I looked online and got the data for 7828 because that's what I have bought a bunch of for my uh, 168s and I've got that bullet moving at 3,000 feet a second a little over 3,000 feet a second with a 168 with a 1 and 8 twist and I just I've had people tell me hey man you got a 1 and 8 twist and you're shooting 168 that's pretty stupid and I guess I agree with them on that part so that made me want to get get into this and see what we can get going so I got a box of clean brass here that I stainless steel tumbled brand new brass uh, well it's not brand new brass this is I got a bag of this stuff given to me by a guy that had picked it up at the range so I went ahead and stainless steel cleaned it so that I could check check around the belt to make sure there wasn't no nothing that was going to come back and bite me in the butt there so uh, we're going to go ahead and load them now that I have my uh, 10 shot load development already done I can tell you that I'm not going to get the kind of velocities out of it that I thought I was going to get because whenever I seen pressure on this thing whenever I got up to pressure I got up to pressure at 60 and I pushed it two tenths over that which was 60.2 and at 60.2 which is over pressure by the way just so you know is 2688 so I'm losing 400 and five four to five hundred feet per second by going to this heavier bullet so and that's showing pressure on the on the primers um, I think I have them laying here yeah they're pretty pretty flat and they've got a little bit you can see a little rounded edges but I really don't want to blow the primer pockets out and have to buy new brass ever firing so I'm going to work down and what I'm going to do now is I've never had good luck with just choosing one of those charges and going and shooting them they just don't group so what I'm going to do is uh, the next time you see this video here we'll be at the range and I'm going to have just like I did for the 458 SOCOM I'm going to load three rounds at the half grain increments we're going to try it my old way we're going to go half grain increments three rounds a piece We'll shoot those we'll see how that comes out and hopefully we'll land on something that's pretty tight that's also that'll back up this uh, Satterling load development uh, which this is what I'm used to doing is go half grain increments three shots and then pick the tightest one and then work on either side of it and find something that works so that's what we're gonna do so uh, yeah stay tuned <laughs> 